Welcome to Mysteries of Mars, an epic journey in which I present out of place anomalous objects and structures I discovered on Mars. I'm Jean Ward, independent South African Mars researcher. Hello everyone, Jean here with another deep dive. We're returning to Nerida Montes in a region called Argaia Planitia. I found two anomalies at the site and I thought I'd do a deep dive on this one. Let's have a look at the source material and we'll go in depth on these two anomalies. The photograph we're analyzing is called Gullies and pasted on material in Nerida Montes. Acquired on the 21st of August 2009 at a resolution of 55.3 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you two images cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at a crop from the low res black and white photograph. And the anomaly that I'll be showing you first is located roughly here. And the second one up to the top right of this terrain. So we have a Nerida Montes in this region called Argaia Planitia. And the site we're looking at is right there at roughly 43 degrees 11 minutes south, 49 degrees 56 minutes west. Has that possible opening? And according to the distance tool in high view, which I'll show you in a moment, that opening is approximately 50 meters wide and about 12 meters high. As a closer look at that, of special interest is this darker material compared to the lighter material to the right, as well as these two edges of what looks like a trench. So he has a close-up look. Do you get this material here? Yeah? It's a little bit darker and it looks different to this brighter material that seems to have like waves or dune shapes to it. Could we have had water flowing out of this opening? And what made this trench? To me this looks like a trench. Could something have crashed here? Came it at a low trajectory, scraped the trench, embedded itself there. And if it did, where is it now? It's a very interesting anomaly that. Yeah, we're looking at that potential opening magnified using Google Chrome magnifier. So you can see a comparison of that compared to the gigapixel upscaled image to the left. You can see the details are pretty much the same. Look at the shape and then the jagged edge there corresponds there as well. Then that darker material. It's also visible here. And then the wavy sand or terrain is visible here to the right. You can see the trench, sides of a potential trench in both as well. Now we're looking at the high resolution JP2 opened in high view and you can download high view at the link I provide in the video description. Also there are the X and Y coordinates for you to go and find this anomaly for yourself. And then using the distance tool in high view that is about 95 pixels wide. Multiplied with the resolution factor gives you approximately 50 meters wide. And then there's this odd piece that measures approximately 18 meters in length. Let's take a closer look at that. 
So it's also very anomalous. Seems to have an opening. And then this darker part, protruding from it, seems to go into that opening. This is a very odd piece. Right, here it is up close. What could this be? It looks like this ripped open and bent down. Yeah, it is magnified the conventional way in Google Chrome using the magnifier and has the upscaled image using Gigapixel. You can see the corresponding highlight shadows, shape and geometry are the same. So what could this have been? He has that part of the JP2 zoomed to actual size, one to one scale, and there are the X and Y coordinates so you can go find this for yourself. And the distance tool indicates it's about 32 pixels long, which makes it about 20 meters in length. Right, let's go down to that site in the southern mid-latitudes, Algaia Planitia and Neridum Montes. There's a look at the two thumbnails that I've pinned in Google Earth Mars. Let's have a look at another site close by. I featured this quite recently as well. It's where we find this strange object consisting of three similar width parallel parts. The outer two have those dark spots on them. There's a strange darker square part there on the middle one. And there's this odd piece. Seems to have a slot on the one end. And then strange markings running down the center and then that avocado, off avocado, pear, type of anomaly, plectrum shaped, very geometrical with that round disc in its center. Once again, thank you to each and every one of you for viewing my videos and supporting my work. To my new subscribers who joined recently, welcome on board. I hope you enjoy my work and research. As always, Thanks for watching.